All right, Dr. Lindsay and Wendy here. Uh, this is a interesting character that uh, we're just going to go through real quickly. This guy's, uh, I think he started out when he was about 42. Uh, this is him when he showed up. He's uh, class five, maybe six uh, male pattern baldness. And he comes in and he said he, he wants to cover the, the entire top of his head. So like always, I said, let's do two strip cases. Oh no, can't do that. So yeah. uh, he thought he, he'd be fine with with less resilient results. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, we got 10 or 12 videos explaining why FUE never works quite as well as strip. And it's because of uh, stress on the roots with FUE. Nevertheless, we did uh, around 3,000 FUEs on uh, this guy over the course of a year or so. And now uh, he did fine. He did great. I mean, it looks, it, he did great. But he, did, he said he wanted to keep his hair Short. Super short. So that was his excuse, like, do my FE. Right. We agreed. And he got himself a young girlfriend, and he's uh, he's one of our most colorful uh, patients when he comes in. It's a pleasure to work with. But he, like everybody, he gets hair greed. And so this is him at 42 months out after a gobs of FUEs. He's got a nice crew cut. This is what he wanted when he when he first showed up. He spent lots of money getting that, that result, more, you know, twice as much money as he would have done with strips. strips yeah. But if you look at his donor area, and it, there's no donor depletion and there's no linear scar. It looks like somebody that's fallen in decided to just get a crew cut. Get, get a crew cut. And it looks at the shadow, so it definitely frames that little thing what, you know, guys that cut their hair short likes. So I thought we were done. Everything's yes. cool. And uh, I've, come, I've done a few other videos on him. He'll grow his hair out and then he'll send a picture in and say he wants some more hair. And I say, well, let's do a strip. And he, it, it just became difficult to get more FUE. So we switched to modified FUE and did a case on him. And this is a picture of him now, I don't know, a year out from his modified FUE with his hair long. And he looks good. I think he's in his car, it's a selfie. And then uh, here's one that he took from inside. A and he calls, and so everything's good. He, he emails me and he says, everything's fine. And then, uh, uh, well, what happens is on typically on a Friday evening, he and his buddies will will uh, have some adult beverages, and then he'll get a crew cut, and then he decides he wants more hair. And so uh, we did another modified FUE on him, and this is him now 60 months out from his uh, from starting with us, and he looks good. In fact, he's only about six months out from his uh, his last, last procedure. Last procedure. And his email said that uh, it's looking great, uh, but I think I want a little bit more hair. And I know that it's got plenty of money. I've given him money. He's he's done work for me. But it's not he's not ripe yet. Uh, uh, we need to let it let everything grow in, and then we'll see what we need to do. But this is just uh, you know typical of guys having hair greed, and uh, I think he could have spent his donor supply and his money more frugally if we'd have done two strips on him. But this is what we can do, and uh, you know we can do good results with FUE. It just costs more, and it's probably not as thick and lustrous as if we'd done strip. But he's a happy character, and uh, I'm sure we're going to see him back sometime next spring, uh, and we'll get a follow-up video, whether we do a case or not. Anything you want to add, Wendy? Yeah, well, it's when you when you recommend a strip, yeah, you know, strip versus an FUE. Patients think that you're probably not good at FUE and that's why you're recommending a strip. But we recommend what would be best for you, what we think that in the future you'll be happy with. With this guy, you said two strips and you'll be over and done with, right. correct? Right. And because now he wears his hair long. Yeah, plenty long to cover any kind of strip. Exactly. So, and, um, so when patients come, we as experienced, we already know because we see lots of patients with the same issues that they come and they want FUE, but then just happens like this guy. People's, people's hair greed catches up to them. Exactly. So in summary, do your research. Uh, if we can help you, please give Wendy or me a call and watch out for hair greed because it, it hits most guys eventually. Yeah, either a month after, especially when we had a patient that we did a scar revision on, we didn't do his, his strip. We, did uh, we didn't do the strip. We did a sky revision on him. And you said, 
a hundred times you asked, are you sure you don't want any more hair? And then a month follow up, he says, um, I might need some hair up here on the front. Right. Senior guy in the military. So I'm yes. desperate. So do your research. And if we can help you, please give us a call. Thanks. Thanks.